with head women's basketball coach Krista Kilburn Svesky, Sika Kuzik, and Marianne Collin. Um, coach, an opening statement on tonight? Ah, uh, you know, obviously, uh, Jessamyn Eddy was my assistant for a number of years, and I knew they were going to come in fired up, and uh, I just don't think we answered their call. I think they played more aggressive than we did. Um, we played way too content, and I think that is just something that, as a unit in this program right now, we're going to have to, they're going to have to, um, come together and find out what kind of team we want to be this season. Coach, uh, Sika with her third double-double of the season, what do you see from her on the court today I mean, and just I, throughout the season? Yeah, I mean, obviously she's been trying to be consistent. You know, you talk about somebody that, and I keep bringing this up all the time, that's all coaches, all they want to do is if you have a little bit of a lull, you know, a little bit of a drop, you know, in the Sunny Bird game and she comes to me, we're talking, and then all she's tried to do since that point is have some type of consistent play, even if it wasn't even in points. You know, and I got on her a little early, you know, today she had to come out for a few minutes to get her head back. But, you know, you cannot fault someone that is trying to, you know, unite the team as much as possible. We just need a lot more folks helping us. Colin was able to put up 14 points. What did you see from Murray down in the paint? Well, I mean, you know, Mary, we knew that we could have a good advantage in that. And uh, we wanted to kind of keep kind of taking advantage of that matchup. Um, you know, you know, Mary hasn't been getting as much touches as these. This would be nice if this was a nightly thing. Um, I think she would be a little bit more in the groove as well because she has definitely not been getting enough touches. Um, so that's on me and on, on us in practice every single day. There's a lot of, you know, a frustration of our guards handling the ball, you know, way too much and not having her eyes up and seeing her. And, you know, I, I can't fault Mary and she gives me consistent. So I'm over here bragging about this one. It's because she's not on the stat sheet every single time. Why is she in the game for almost 40 minutes? Because it's usually 100% consistent effort. She always usually helps us and saves our tail on defense all the time. So, like, I'm not going to shoot, you know, the messenger here of someone that has been just like an energizer bunny and a constant, uh, you know, constant force on our team on the defensive end. Sega, can you comment on the on your performance tonight, the double-double? How, um, how are you feeling out there on the court? I just feel like it wasn't enough, and definitely if it wasn't about me, as a team we need to be more consistent. And I think we're working hard. We just need to translate it somehow. So we're working on it. We're getting better. Uh, coach, in, in the third quarter, you only shot 25%. Uh, that was really the, uh, yeah. the biggest biggest hit there. So what, what happened in the third quarter? Yeah, again, we've been talking about this quite often, right? Um, I, you know, I think we have opportunities where we're fighting back and we get over that hump and then we make some pretty poor decisions offensively. We were letting the defense, a bit, obviously, I mean, the offense affect the defensive end of our floor. So then when we start shooting poorly, then we're not depending on the other end. So this is pretty much a common theme, you know, and so we decided to put the brakes on and, you know, and, and definitely – uh, you know, respond to each other or respond to, you know, to us, to the coaches and, and just really get down and get stops, you know, and, and don't let the offense affect us on the defensive end when the ball's not going in. But we just made a lot of bad decisions at times where we had a chance to have the momentum and then we took poor shots to take us out of that momentum too, by the way. So it's not only not only just the fact, you know, that we shot 25% in that point, it's just even the, the times where we had the momentum and we went up. And this game goes all three. Coach, if you want to start, um, what positives do you take from, from this game? Yeah, I probably have to second that question to somebody else because um, for me personally, um, you know, I always take responsibility for everything. So I'll take responsibility for the loss, but I can't take responsibility. You know, we might have some effort, but we're not not giving ourselves effort from top to bottom. It's not. We're not playing the Hofstra brand of basketball. We look like we were in quicksand tonight. Um, you know, we, uh, you know, it, it just is what it is. You know, I asked them to not be delusional, and I can't be delusional either. You know, and that's our job every day. And I can tell you what, we're expending a lot of effort every single day in practice, um, you know, to try to get them to, you know, do the things to help us be successful. And until, you know, we really buy into that system completely, we're going to keep stumbling here. Anything from the from tonight? I mean, we're just going to work harder on defense. When we do a good D, then the offense is going to come today. It didn't happen. Defense wasn't where it should be, and then offense was, we were careful. Like, we didn't know what we were doing. It was 
just got to learn from God. We got games coming, so just got to beat up on defense and then the offense will come. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.